is on this side, katabilan ng hip mo, and then raise both legs. Ay, may Okay. <laughs> channel and if you remember I asked you a few weeks ago kung ano yung mga problem areas nyo if you want to work on your stamina or you want to lose weight apparently pare-pareho tayo ng problema it's the arms it's the tummy na napakahirap tanggalin it's the butt and ako napansin ko lang after giving birth twice um, medyo hungi na yung lower back ko and it's also the reason why one of the reasons why I really like working out para lumakas ulit yung aking lower back kasi syempre kailangang buhati si summer and syempre gusto natin maging healthy tayo in the midst of a pandemic. So talagang maganda na nakapag-workout tayo sa bahay. So today, I invited my training coach na tutuloy sa atin para makapag-workout tayo sa bahay not using any gym equipments. We're gonna use yung mga um, gamit na meron tayo sa bahay. We will discuss it later on. So, without further ado, um, let me welcome my coach, Coach Juan Abantao. Hi, AJ. Hello. Hello. Oh, ano na? Nako, makikilala ka na talaga nila. <laughs> Ang coach ko na nagpapahirap sa akin ako <laughs> na workout. Pero, syempre, very effective. Uh, we prepared an, uh, an exercise na suit talaga siya para sa mga mommy. And, Especially doon sa mga bahay na wala namang gamit or minsan yung short lang yung space sa bahay. So, we come up with the conventional exercises using a household style. Coach, let's ano, introduce to them kung ano yung mga gagamitin natin today. So, first, ang pinaka-famous at talagang ha namang medyo kinatatakutan ko pag nag-workout kami more than dumbbells ay... Ang towel. At kailangan natin ng gallon of water. And then, meron din na small. And then, also, we have a water bottle. And meron tayong bond paper. So, ilang sets ba ang workout natin for ang today? Ang natin, uh, per exercise, uh, we're gonna do three sets. Okay, let's start with the gallon of water. When you do the squat, kailangan medyo keep apart. Tapos, just a little bit away from your shoulder yung weight niya. Ah. So, tapos, option siya, pwedeng hawakan sa baba yung galon or hakapin yung galon. Hakapin pa yung galon and you do the alternating lunges. Kailangan 90 degree yung bend ng leg. And you focus more on the rear leg kasi susunod lang yung nasa front leg. But we're working our front leg, our hip flexor, ang ating glute, and Yan. We're doing the lunges. We're also working out our first form. After that, reverse lunges. It's lesser um, pressure sa tuhod. It goes straight to your quads, it goes straight to your hip flexor, and then it loose. So make sure naka chest out, naka contract yung abdominal, naka tight yung core, saka yung back. In exchange of mga mummies na walang dumbbells sa bahay. So gagawin lang is we'll do the shoulder press. Your mm -hmm. arms, nakaganto, and then you press it up. Since it's a little bit lighter, let's concentrate on the form and let's do 15 repetitions. So, pwede si ma'am, pwede siyang pumikit para ma-imagine niya sa ang part ng muscle, pinatamaan yung git na gawa. Kailangan kasi you have to understand all the movements. Hindi pwede ginagawa mo lang siya for the space. Iba kasi yung nakakamdaman mo siya na, ah, ito talaga yung in a workout ko. Para tis, diba? It's not only for the job for the, your coaches to explain, but also, mas maganda kung ikaw mismo na iintindihan mo yung ginagawa. Tama, coach. I agree with you kasi sometimes kahit na ang um, bigat-bigat na nang binubuhat mo, hindi tama yung hindiing effect because hindi tama yung form. Mas importante yung form, diba? Form. Form. Okay. Yes. And then make sure your elbow is higher than your wrist. Para andito lang talaga siya sa shoulder. And then bring it down towards your hip. And then lift it up. Yes, you have to control. 15 repetitions. 15 seconds rest in between sets. And a maximum of 3 to 4 sets. Wow. Okay. 
friends. Yan. Ang tinatamaan natin dyan yung ating side cycle, yung gilip ng, ng braso natin. After 15, three sets of arms nasa harap. Tapos you have to lift up. Just above, a little bit above your shoulder. And then, bababa. Pabalik ng leg. Up and down. Uh, up and down. Now, 15 pa rin. Tatlong sets. Focus ka dito sa harap ng shoulder. Ramdam na ramdam doon siya. Kahit oh. magaan lang siya. Yung mga ganyang, mga ganyang exercise na gagawa na hindi natin napapansin pag gumagawa tayo, naglilin yung sarili sa bahay, ginagamit natin yung muscle. Nagwawalis, nagmamakap, yan. We're using our shoulder. Aba, nag-iintay pa doon ko yung pagkain, pwede, no? <laughs> Dito naman tayo sa pose, which is yung likod. So, pag likod, kailangan natin mag-bent over ng kote parang nakabaw position. Naka-chest out, naka-construct yung abdominal, tapos yung arms na sa harap lang, and then parang ka lang mag-open, parang ka lang din mag-fly, o gagawa ka ng smiley face sa harap. Make sure ang elbow is aligned ng shoulder. Perfect. <laughs> Pose na ako. <laughs> uh, yes, naka-bend over pa rin, and then you roll towards your hip bone, and bring it down. So, para naman yan siya the thickness of your back and strength. Nice. Ngayon, same pa rin, naka-bent over. But this time, yung pag-row mo is nakaganto. And then, when you row, align ng chest. Dito naman sa my chest. At ang tinatamaan naman natin, yung upper back. Ngayon, the lateral naman. Which is the tower. Ha? <laughs> yung siya! Oh, si Tawel yun ka. So, mabalik tayo ulit mamaya sa, sa water bottle. Okay. So, ayun na. So, lahat naman tayo may tawel sa bahay. Medyo kailangan natin yung medyo mahaba-haba na ko. Hawakan natin sa both ends. And then, imagine yung parang naghahatakan yung arms mo, nag-aagawan yung tawel. And then, you put it behind you. And then, raise both arms up. Pull it down. Habang pinupull down mo, you have to resist each Wait, or yung, pag, yung parang lalagyan mo siya ng resist. So, pag baba, tinatamaan ni medial. Pag akyat, our lateral side. Yeah. But again, we're gonna do 15 repetition at long set. We're gonna do behind pa rin. Now, this time, tatamaan ang arms natin, yung mga tricep, our shoulder, posterior deltoid, at yung traps natin itong batok, tatamaan din. So, we have to bend over and then just kick it back or swing back lang. Yes. And then bring it down and up. Tapos, coach, pwede na naman sila if, kunwari, hindi talaga sila nakakapag-workout lately, di ba? They can start off doing um, siguro few sets muna. Tama ba ako, Coach? Hmm. Pwede few sets or gawin nila today, upper upper part lang muna, then bukas yung lower naman. Hindi naman nila kailangan na gawin yung the entire exercise natin. Yung talagang, pwede sabihin natin, talagang 15 minutes lang yung kaya nila for the day. Then it's okay. So we're gonna do it now. Yan, ang talagang nakakoncentrate lang yan siya sa try to 15 repetition, same Chest out, keep your eyes on the floor, tapos nakakonstruct yung abdominal, tapos yung lower back. Tapos na tayo sa tricep, ang next naman is the bicep. You curl all the way to your shoulder and then bring it up. Ang, ang tinatamaan na muscle dyan is yung ating bicep. Yan. Team. So, ang tinatamaan na natin is, again, merong bicep, pero tinatamaan na rin yung forearm. So, pag when you do the hammer curl, we use 60% sa bicep, merong 40% na coming from your forearm. Gagamit tayo ng towel ngayon 
para sa bicep curl. Yan na naman siya. <laughs> Mas power. It's an isometric. Yung parang isang buong weight pinagahatian ng dalawang parte ng katomot. Left and right. Hindi tulad ng water bottle. It's isolation exercise. Which means, kanya-kanyang arms may kanya-kanyang weight. So, yun yung difference ng dalawa. Na isometric exercise mga coach, nararamdaman ko siya kahit dito. Next ang gagawin na natin is yung bond paper na. So, option pa rin sa mga mami. Pwede tayo gumamit ng paper plate, pwede tayo gumamit ng paper. Basta makapal lang yung papel. So, gagawin lang is naka-plant yung position tayo na basic, tapos aapakan mo yung papel. So, gagawin lang is you do the mountain climber. Since na mabilis lang siya matapos, you'll be doing 30 seconds na mountain climb. So, wait, dalhin sa harap, sa shoulder, huwag sa paa, para pinatong mo lang talaga yung paa mo. Tapos, isa-slide mo lang. Tapos, gagawin lang kung kanina nag-alternate tayo na knee-tuck papuntang chest. Ngayon, we do both legs na. Both knee na ang pupunta sa chest. Tapos, make sure naka-tilt ng konti yung foot towards the ceiling. Concentrate on your core, not on your leg yung diretso na ang knee, nakalak na siya, tapos para ka ng clump na umaakit, it's a reverse fight. Taking the floor, same position, yung weight dadaling sa harap, huwag sa leg, tinatamaan na ang shoulders, your back, and your hip flexor, also your arms, lahat yan. And stop. Ah! Grabe na mo, Tia. Hindi nakaka-fresh. <laughs> Gagawin natin ang pinaka-famous na, na crunch it, abdominal crunch. Ang mistake ng lahat, yung paa masyadong malayo sa puwet. Kailangan yung distance ng ating paa is naandun sa dulo ng tip ng finger. Kailangan na, na, naaabot natin yung heel. And then after yan, ipapatong lang natin both knees on top, both hands on top of our knees. Tapos, we will try as high as you can you reach, as high as you can your knees, and then, ang ginagawa dapat is lifting your shoulder up away from the floor, not your neck. Then, ang second option natin is same position. Gagawin lang natin is mag-heal up. Nagpa-heal up ako to suspend. Lahat ng strength and yung power and force is just coming from your core. So, hihiga ka lang. Both hands just on the side. Ayan na, masisnap ko na siya. Over crunches tayo. Both hands just on the side of your mat. Taas yung dalawang paa towards the ceiling. Tapos pataas lang. Make sure ang movement mo is your leg towards the ceiling. So you have to focus more on your core. So lift your leg all the way up to the ceiling and bring it down. So let's go for six. Yung repetition, tap yung step. Yan. So that's the basic one for the leg reset or the reverse front. Woo! Para naman sa mga advanced, is same position pa rin. Both hands just on the side. You lift your pelvis up, off the floor. Tapos ibababa mo all the way. Halos ibibikit mo na sa top floor. Then try to lock your knee. Set yung legs. Para we're also working our hip flexor. Yan kasi yung ating mga supporting muscles when we do the core exercise. Oh! Sarap mo na. Sakit ah. <laughs> Pwede slightly extended your leg, slightly bent, and both arm overhead, align ng shoulder. Pwede walang weight. Pwede kang maglagay ng weight. You do the sit and get up. So, optional, pwedeng may weight, pwedeng walang weight. Use your back muscles to lift you up, and then try to resist pag dila, pagbaba. Keep your mouth going up, inhale to your nose on the beat. Exhale up, and try to resist pagbaba. Good. Use your core when you resist the weight, pagbaba. Para sa mga iba, kung gusto mo, para mas medyo uh, mahirap pa ng kote, single count up. Then you count one, two, three, four, bum, bum, bum. Then one, two, three, four, down. 
Kira pa. Do 10 repetition on. Okay na. Perfect. Kung kaya mo yung water gallon, why not? <laughs> okay naman ako dito, Coach. <laughs> yes, good. And over. So again, para sa most, at- para sa mga mas athletic na mga mommies. Pwede yan. Oo, parang si Summer na to, ah. <laughs> Oo. Oh, ilan din yan? 1.5 gallon by So, balik tayo dun sa towel. So, dapa tayo. Yan, perfect talaga yan sa mga bagong panganak, yung postnatal exercises, pag pwede na. The gagawin lang is you pull it towards your chin, lift your shoulder off the floor, and that's it. And release. And lift, pull, keep your eyes to the floor, exhale, pag pull, inhale, pag release. Good. Makakandaman niya siya sa lower back, and then your lateral muscles, and then your lateral part. Yan yung mga wonder ng towel. Akala ko dati, katuwa ko siya sa pag-workout. <laughs> Gagawa ka lang parang snow angel. You're be doing the reverse snow angel. Mm-hmm. And then release. Flat to floor. Up. And release. Parang ka nag- Yes, that's it. One. Yes, go for 15. Uy, masakit to ah. Kahit mm-hmm. wala. Wait. Kahit ganyan lang yan. See? Imagine, ang dahil pala natin pwedeng gawin sa bahay kahit wala tayong galit. Walang excuse, coach. Oh, there's no excuse. At hindi pwedeng walang, walang oras mag-exercise. You have to make time for exercise bago ang illness ang mag, maghanap ng time para sa atin. Tama, baka habulin tayo. Ayun! Oo. Yay! Mata yung life yun eh. Make time for exercise or else illness will find time to save you. Ayaw natin yun, Coach. Ayaw natin yun. Oh. So, you know, Coach, that's very true. Whenever I work out, talagang napipil ko na meron akong nare-release na happy hormones or at least palang parang nagkakaroon ako ng konting peace of mind habang nag-work out. And just to remind our mommies and our fellow ladies, watching us um ang yung bone workout na ginawa namin you can do it in uh 15 reps three sets each um pwede niyo po scatter ito throughout your week para kung ngari konti lang ang time niyo in between lang na pag-aalaga ng anak doing household chores or doing your work from home so uh talagang walang excuse sabi nga ni coach dahil para rin tayo ay magkaroon ng um balanced health, hindi lang ng physical health, but also for mental health. Coach, I know that a lot of us um, talagang kailangan ng motivation. So, where can we find you? Para naman ma-motivate mo kami lagi, every day na mag-workout. They can just see me sa lahat ng, ng social media, which is the Facebook, the Instagram, and then the YouTube. Basta type lang nila Coach Duan Abantao. Yun na yun. May mga free exercises ako, especially din sa YouTube. Ay, uh, mga instructional exercises na may 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 hour, na suit para sa atin lahat lang sa bahay. Yes, and they can also get in touch with you, Coach, no? if they want to do personal training with you, di ba? Yes. So, just, just message lang nila ako, I answer naman, mabilis naman ako gusto mo. Yes. Thank you so much, Coach. Alam mo, marami kami natutunan sa'yo today na hindi dapat maging excuse ang walang equipment sa bahay or wala tayong time dahil um, yun nga, katulad ng sabi mo, ayaw natin na ang pande- ang sakit na ang mag-make time for us. We want to make time for ourselves, to make ourselves healthy physically, mentally, and also especially to the parents out there, mga moms, and syempre mga dads. Um, we want us ourselves to be really healthy for our kids as well so i hope this workout routine um will be very useful to you all and until next time on my channel let us know kung meron pa kayong gustong target areas na malaman kung paano natin siya you work out and maybe coach doan will help us again here on my channel thank you so much for watching please do like and subscribe to my channel Thank you so much and see you again on my channel. Bye! Ay, 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 ay,
Sabi mo, we will carry you. Ayan. Tapos, we will do the squats, ha? Open legs. Mabigat ba ito? Mabigat. Okay, then squats. One. Two. Oh, 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 oh. oh. You, you try it, try it. Oh, ikaw din. Really try it. Tapos, you lie down. Lie down. And then you're... Legs, and then you will go up, ha? Huh? Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, up. Up. Uh, one. Oh, lie down again. Ay, tapos na. Tapos na. Done.